First of all, they stayed the course. A lot of times, marketers get bored with a campaign far sooner than the consumer. There's a lot of risk that comes into this play, but again, your moral compass tends to spin and get very attracted to when the price tag is $10 billion. The, the bricks, the, the, the retailers in, your, in the malls and on Main Street are at a real cost disadvantage. I mean, they gotta pay rent, they gotta pay local taxes, they gotta employ people, they gotta dress their windows, on and on and on. And now I'm sure the Pepsi organization's saying, what was I thinking? Mm. How did we get that through the gauntlet? How did that get out? How do we put millions of dollars in media support, tens of millions of dollars in media support behind it? To put your brand out with that kind of positioning is truly irresponsible. An assistant brand manager, six months out of college, shouldn't be able to catch that one, let alone the senior people that have been around for uh, decades. But the second thing is my slam dunks. I re they re reconfirm why they're voting for me, and more importantly, why they have to come out and vote to make sure I stay in power or get in power versus the opponent I just attacked. What I don't like is false borrowed equity where a brand just tries to connect to the celebrity cachet. This fits in so many levels. I like to call it uh, men buy and women shop. Men are really from Canadian Tire. They're out there to buy the product they need where women shop often to find out what they need. 76% of people that work for the private sector don't have a pension. What does that do? It condemns us to a lifetime of financial insecurity and anxiety. If you have an interesting idea that's easy for people to get engaged with, you can really create this, drop this little seed in the water and it explodes globally. 22% youth unemployment in the city. There is no work to have a work-life balance. People are doing a side hustle, a gig economy, two or three jobs just to get by. Imagine if the Better Living Center became the epicenter to showcase how technology is gonna enable us to live more, do more, and be more.